Recently, I've come across three new winter theme curriculums. I really wanna give you guys a flip inside so that you can see what those are like and see if they would be useful for your families this winter. Let's go inside and get started. Okay. So you've heard me talk about Creative Fabrica in the past. For $2.99, you can get an annual subscription to all these PDF downloads that you can use that are educational and on all kinds of different topics, like winter. So this week, I used my five downloads to get the anatomy of a penguin, reindeer, polar bear. We've got letters for my kids to trace and color life cycle of a snowflake and how icebergs are formed, icebergs to color, the different names for icebergs, but these just looked so fun. I'm really excited to dig them out on those really cold days. Maybe we're having an off day and we just need to switch it up a little bit. I think these will fit perfectly for that. Learn more about Creative Fabrica by clicking on this video. You can find it on my channel page. I'll probably link it at the end of this one too. It'll explain more, but you guys, what a deal. I did print all of these resources myself and I am super happy with the printer that I have and the ProClick that I use for binding. So if you're interested or looking for those, I never hesitate about printing things off because the ink really isn't that bad. Um, it prints beautifully. I would highly recommend these resources. The next one I'm really excited about is from Chantel at Intentional Homeschooling and it is her Nature Journal mini units. Here she has given all kinds of suggestions of things to look look up and learn more about like Christmas plants, winter birds. Um, there's different cues for when you're going on nature walks. There's the winter solstice. And I just really appreciate having these ideas already before us, but then we can learn as much as we want to about them. We can journal about them. There's cues of things to write about. I think this is really helpful. And I have just appreciated the resources that Chantel has put out there. But there's more. Right now, if you go to her page, I'll have the links all down below, you can get into her annual membership for $30. $30, that gets you the nature journals for every month, a morning menu for every month, and then all these extra resources, because she's so creative and always putting out more things, but you get them for free once you've paid that $30. And if you do it, by the end of 2022, you get a $50 gift card to spend in the store. So you're basically getting paid $20 to be part of this annual membership. Why wouldn't you do it? It's so cool. I did it because I would be spending that money anyway. I think she puts out so many great things. You'll hear me talk about her resources often. Actually, in this video, I talk about her research units, so you can check that one out later too. Go check out Intentional Homeschooling's winter, um, specifically right now, the December nature unit. And then for the last one that I am going to introduce you to, we're gonna go over to my little hygge crook. I think that's how you say it. Welcome to my comfy, cozy little corner. This is where I love to sit and learn and read and do all kinds of different things. Can I introduce you to this? This is a unit lesson on Huga, and I have been super interested in Huga as I dive into my family and my married and family Scandinavian traditions. This has become something really special for me. My favorite book that I read this year is Holy Huga by Jamie Erickson. And if you haven't read it yet, pick it up now. Read this book. There's so much uh, Bible in here too. And really talking about how Jesus even incorporated some of these things, even though he didn't have a house to like welcome people into, he still created this welcoming atmosphere where people felt comfortable around him. It was just a really special read to me. I recommended it to all my friends this year. But now I am so excited to introduce my children to Huga too. Why Huga touches my heart and is so important to me. And so in this unit, we're going to be talking about all kinds of things, all the way from like, what are the Scandinavian countries? How is Denmark rated as like the happiest country on earth and why? What, what are those reasons? When do we find that we are happiest? What creates those feelings of comfort? Let's talk about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Let's talk about nature and how nature is so good for us. Let's talk about traditions that we have in our household. So even if um, Huga isn't like, 
your thing, this is gonna lead to a lot of intentional conversations with your kids. This makes for a really good family subject, just a good way to start your time together even. I'm really excited to go through this lesson. Um, and then again, if you haven't already read Holy Huga, make sure to pick it up because it's really gonna show you a lot more and open a lot more uh, to your family devotional time as well. All right, here are the other two videos that I recommended. You guys, these resources are super cheap. Go check them out in the description box below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.